Okay, let's start the chat again. Huh? Is this your chat? Oh, is it? I'm sure it's your chat. Yeah. Jump for it. Indeed. Did you fuck with it? No, no, no. I'm sure I'm sure. Oh, no, I'm sure. Hey, is this your chat? Look at this guy. He's walking on a fence. I think he's gonna try to kill himself. Gonna put this in the video. Hello everyone, welcome to my first vlog. Uh, we are in the plane right now and this vlog will be about uh, visiting to Kyrgyzstan. The city we are going to is called Dog City. So hopefully it will be a great uh, journey, you can stay with me until the end. We are flying from uh, Stansted Airport and there will be a transit on the way so basically it will, we will go to Turkey, Istanbul in a transit and then from there we will go to our field airport and then the way we go to city. Uh, currently we're looking to order some food from the plane menu. I don't know, something not too many. Uh, let's see what they go have here. Some burgers or sandwiches and cheese and there is coming is bringing the meals for everyone. Then we're gonna enjoy it. Not too hungry as well, we already ate something but just in case. So. There is our food guys, some meat burger we have with some Turkish rice, I don't know what it is, it's the cake here, some salad as well, yeah hopefully if we ask to us hotel we wish to win. The meat and uh, rice was quite delicious too, if I really liked it. Guys, uh, for those of you who doesn't really know what's going on in this vlog, I just want to double check with everyone that uh, this is going to be the life in the Hook City or probably some places in Kurdistan so you will see like how the life is going on in this specific areas about around the world that you haven't still visited or haven't seen or you're not sure you're not knowing anything about it. We are now in a middle of dog town city as you can see just where you buy all your shoppings and like clothes everything you need for home or anything like that as you can see this is how they close the shops down you only put like a uh, clothes above the shop and that's it because the city is that safe they don't put any shutters or anything like that and there is no security or anything like that if you go behind this clothes you can literally grab anything you want from the shop and take it out but the city is very, this is like one of the, the, the most amazing that you surprise when you come to here and you see it. You can see like air, all the shops have only like a clothes on it as you can see behind all these clothes. There's lots of stuff. But this shows like how peaceful or how safety this country or this city is. Like it's like probably about 9 o'clock at the night time and you can see the, sh the town is closed this uh, dresses for women and girls so yeah look we go for here I don't know which this is probably some clothes you can see I can grab it it's clothes behind this it's only like mini clothes and they protecting it with the stones to not be taken by the wind so it's really really amazing and you you, you probably would be so surprised when you come here and you see this view the way how they close the shops down and nobody's stealing anything from it and this is this shows how peaceful and safety this city is look all the shops you got like cheese shops shoes clothes food and literally everything yeah it's really really yeah so that was it that was like in the middle of the town or the center it was all like shopping in the middle this is on the road Still, some more markets in this place as well. Found that way, and yeah, like I said, it's just it's very, very protective, it's very, very safe. Yeah, this shoppings and wind stealing and thieves like literally, there is a hard, hard chance when a few shops or money get robbed or something like that. Yeah, some of them getting ready, they're closing down as well and doing the same thing again. Some places still open, they just getting ready to close down, cleaning, and yeah, that's it. Look again, it's all the same thing. Some of them are like mobile phones and the mobile accessories, some of them are like laptops and expensive items, like expensive watches and all that. 
some of these places they even literally they sell gold and this is how they protect their shop like this it's all like the expensive stuff they do as well and it's really 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 safe hardly get still and anything like that like the whole city is really safe from robbery or thieves and all that but this might be like mobile phone shop or something like that and it's protecting it this way hi guys again uh, currently i'm in uh, the hawk town again and this is a uh, daytime here is they doing the vaccination it's just like a walk and you just go down they do it straight away immediately they do the vaccinations for covid uh, this is somewhere between in, somewhere like in the the hawk town is like besides the way the shopping is like opposite to it this place is quite good people really come here and then they chill around where all the pigeons there is in the just enjoy their time there's like some chairs and they just chill around here people walking by here and then sometimes having breaks when they go do much shopping and then they come for like a quick break yeah it's quite a good, nice place to chill around city or like basically this country is like this you will see basically children they just walking around and selling stuff they've been walking for hours and hours as you can see these two children they've been here and they keep looking to sell some of like seeds or water bottles or anything they call they can sell they're just gonna do it just for some money so they can live with it that's the really hard part within this city Here is they warming up seeds. This is for people here. They come here. They usually people in Kurdistan. They really enjoy eating seeds. This place is like a tea place. They just come here like old people and everybody just comes here and then chill around and have a bit of like 
drinking some teas or coffee stuff like that here I'm walking literally in the middle of uh, the whole town city yeah, I was a restaurant as you can see it was so so busy with cars and traffic and taxis I just so busy as you can see this is where you go into the main part of the city which I'll show you in the beginning of the first floor this is where this is where it was uh, all the shopping were, were closed by a closet or something this is where the main place is as you can see you literally you can buy anything in this area it's like mixed with everything like which is uh, phone accessories mobile phones clothes and food and shoes everything you want to look for you probably be able to find it in this town yeah I'm right now I'm walking in between uh, the middle of town you can see there is clothes, shopping, glasses, everything here. Here if they making breads and it's just non breads they making and they still get straight to as well. It's a bit difficult for them as well, so especially in the summertime it's really really hard but that's what they have to do just to make money from it. I know lots of jobs in this uh, city or this country is hard but they just do it anyway just for money. Here is this uh, selling some sprays and uh, basically equipment for hair styling and all that you probably be shocked when you know the prices for this equipment especially this clip I bought only for like uh, five pound and it's all brand new and it's really good condition as well guys I think that I'm like basically hearing that Arvon Arvon is uh, for those of you who don't know what Arvon is Arvon is uh, something that's uh, called five times a day in all Muslim uh, countries so basically it's like uh, something called for something like they call for price to go on pay every five times uh, sorry uh, five times a day it's always called I will leave you with other now to see how it sounds like for you and if something new for you you can listen to it and uh, it's something that sounds really beautiful and amazing so the town to Ibaushki. Guys can you see this sponge on his car on this taxi? That's uh, another thing that when you come to this place or this city you will be expecting to see so many things like that. They were just carrying items on the top of their car and they tie it up with some straps or something like that. As you can see this car yeah so there is a whole chance to find a van in this uh, country or city. They all have like use they, they use it on their cars or sometimes they print something 
something else. So basically, I've never seen any van in this place. You must have something like a big coast. Of, or you can see those two tower descenders, how they carry all their heavy duties. So yeah, that's uh, something else in this country you would be expecting to see when you come here. I know it's something strange, but it's just how the way how it is. In this area, if you walk for 10, 15 minutes, you'll be tired for the whole day. Because it's all like hills and it's just incredible. I'm already tired, just been walking for like 20 minutes. It's been like really long day for me. Okay guys, so right now I'm in the uh, uh, Zara mountain. This is a really really beautiful place that you can see all around the city as you can see guys this the Hawk city or probably most of cities in the Hawk they are just surrounded by mountains like uh, around the around the city is all mountains as you can see here is all the city you can see all the buildings and houses and around every around the whole city is just covered with four mountains as you can see I'm turning uh, the camera all around mountains are everywhere this is one of the mountains this is called the uh, Zawa mountain it's really really beautiful people usually come here and spend their time especially this place is absolutely beautiful when you come to this place and visit here at night time this just looks so mint all the lights are on and then they you can see like literally everything from here from this view you can see the whole whole city as you can see guys from here it's a wonderful view that you can see from the top of this mountain which is called Zawa, Zawa mountain right now I am uh, walking in Zawa mountain this is the other side of Zawa mountain as you can see this is another part of it and this is somewhere else I don't I don't really know what this place is called what you're seeing right now but I'm showing you the view from Zawa mountain <laughs> Right now, this is after we left uh, Zawa Mountain. This is the same day on, uh, on Gali Road. Gali Road right now. This is the, the way to Gali Park. As you can see, we are traveling and walking from different places to different places. I just want to show you many different places as much as I can during this uh, this holiday visit. Yeah, this is called Gali. People usually come here as well, and then they spend their time here at night time. Usually, mainly night time is good for night time. Uh, it's always good people usually go out on night time in this uh, country or this city because it's always like uh, too hot to go out in the daytime so usually many many places are open at night time and they usually go out at night time right now we are in, uh, in uh, Gali Park right now it's a really really beautiful place this is as well used to be really really good but now it's been uh, corrupted I don't know why I don't know if they rebuilding it again or something else because they had many roads in this place before Yes, sir. Kira cepat begini. Hah? 
CSO de tudo é. Ah, mas isso. Ah, só o CSO Já o poder. Onde? Ele foi coisa. Não, 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 que bro, não, 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 That was the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen, I mean, especially of an video. A man walking a fence and that high, oh my god. Of course, this is, as you can see, let's continue. Uh, this is a uh, galley park, it's really beautiful place, as you can see. It's really good for photography and photos. People come here, I like to take photos sometimes. But uh, this place is really busy at night time when you come here. And there is an ice cream called, uh, it's called the uh, galley ice cream. It's really good when you come here and everybody tries it. We are sitting down in a garden of Galley right now. As you can see, it's a beautiful weather and it's really good. The weather is always good in this place, so I did a few recording as well. Let's see if we can get more beautiful shots or more. Uh, it's a really nice place here. Yeah, you can people come here usually chill around. I don't know, they just enjoy their time here. Here now we are in a Zaho city right now. This is another city in Kurdistan and this place is wonderful. As you can see this bridge is very very old. It's one of the oldest bridge in Kurdistan. It's one of the oldest uh, thing that you when you come to Kurdistan you will see. It. It's a really wonderful place here. And it's uh, quite high as well as you can see it's, it's, it's built with all the old stones and bricks and all that. And it's still been the same, nothing's damaged or anything like that. Yeah, this is another city is called uh, Zaho city and this bridge is called Pradalal. It's a wonderful, it's a beautiful sea go uh, water goes underneath it, as you can see. And at some time people come here on uh, this bridge and they usually jump from here all the way down to the water. It's a really, really amazing thing to do because when you look look, look at down downstairs, it's, it's all like rocks and stones, it's really, really amazing how some people do that and it's really risky but some people have bravery and they just do it anyway just for the sake of a video or snapchat as you can see guys people from here and they jump on it and just jump on water it's really dangerous as well the view from this bridge is wonderful as you can see guys it's something like uh, amazing right now we are heading to Ahmedi city That's uh, another city in this country that's one of the most amazing and beautiful city as well. It's like a whole city on top of a mountain, like the whole city is built on the top of a mountain. When I go see, you know, we, when we go there, I will show you our main and I will see you a uh, video and we'll talk about it as well. Guys, one more thing I want to tell you as well about this country, it's just uh, amazing and as you can see, there is a snow mountains a bit further from actually natural mountains it's so beautiful when you see both mountains at the same time so it shows like the weather of this country as you can see this this mountain here there is actually a whole city on top of a mountain I can't see it from here exactly how it looks like but if I had my drone I'll show you perfectly. It's beautiful. This place called is Almedio. Oh, 